Head coach Mario Cristobal announced at his press conference today right out of the gate that his star running back Royce Freeman would not play in Saturday's Las Vegas Bowl against the Boise State Broncos. And that's kind of a bummer for a lot of fans that were hoping to see Rolls Royce play in one more game in a Ducks uniform. But you also had Ducks fans, especially on social media, come out and support Freeman's decision to sit out and not risk a potential injury since Freeman is expected to be an NFL draft pick in the coming months. Freeman did not talk to the media about his decision to not play in the Las Vegas Bowl, but his coach did. He's a valued member of our organization, you know, and his, I'm sure he'll be, uh, this is hard for him now. I mean, this is not you know, an easy thing for a guy like that that's invested his heart and soul in the program. I mean, we all know the story and the statistics that go with that, so it's difficult for him. As the Ducks prepare for Boise State, they got a chance to give back to the community here in Las Vegas and make a difference in some of the kids' lives here. Normally we'd say a lot of the kids have never ever had a new pair of shoes before. That's typically the case. Hundreds of shoes and socks, enough to fill up this truck, line the outside of a Las Vegas elementary school. I like these type of shoes and the color. The Goody Two Shoes Foundation teamed up with the Las Vegas Bowl to make it happen. It's something local families look forward to. For a lot of these kids, the first time they put these shoes on, the next time they get a new pair is the next time they go through this line a year or two later. From picking out the perfect kicks. It's like there's like a pillow inside of them, so like when you jump it doesn't hurt. To lacing them up. I when I tackled it, I flipped over. To testing them out on the field. Even getting a few pointers from the players. The Ducks got to be a part of the special day. Seeing the smiles on their faces it's a different feeling than crushing the competition on game day. Uh, the accolades uh, off, on the field, I mean, don't don't compare to this at all. Things like this surpass surpass that every day of the week. Completely different feeling, you know. Stuff like this reminds us that we're more than just football players, and it reminds some of the fans too. And I think that's big, and that's more of a it's a different kind of satisfaction, you know, helping people out. It's one of the best feelings you can have. Guys, the countdown is on to Saturday's big game for the Ducks, and there is a pep rally scheduled tomorrow in the heart of the city, downtown Las Vegas, and you know we will be there to give that to you. And we'll take a look back at that infamous punch the last time these two teams got together. It's going to be exciting time, so make sure to join us as we report live from Las Vegas tomorrow at 4, 5, 6, and 11 right here on KGW. For now, we'll send it back to you guys. We'll be here and we're excited about the game. Thank you, Orlando. Yeah, don't lose all your money tonight, buddy. you got a couple more days to go. <laughs> Stay with KGW for complete coverage of the Oregon Ducks at the Las Vegas Bowl. We'll bring you live reports on the team through Saturday's game.